Hey yo guys, Marlon King here, aka Marlon Vlogger. This week, Peter McKinnon sent out a challenge to his viewers. Who can do the best B-roll in the most boring place you can find? B-roll being a cinematic sequence. Challenge accepted, Peter. Guys, stick around to find out where I decided to make my cinematic sequence. All right, guys, what a wonderful day. I'm at uh, Newham Inn in Maidstone. This is a nice little pub on the outskirts of Maidstone. Just had a band rehearsal with Nick. And uh, now we're just going out for a pint. How do you reckon rehearsal went today, mate? Yeah, it's good. Cool. You tracking the bag? Yeah, sweet as. And what have you got there? This is the promo copy of our new album, Continuum. Um, oh, sorry, I can't even. Was you in the shot there, mate? I'm not sure. So. This is the promo copies that we'll be sending out shortly to people that were lucky enough to ask for one. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so let's go grab a pint, mate. Yeah. Just finished at the pub, nipped off, off to Aldi's to try and get some supplies. Um, and this is what happens when you stay at the pub too long. Um, as you might see around me, the car park's completely empty. And uh, yeah, the place is shut. I think it, it's Sunday, so I should have known better. Um, so now I've got to try and get home and explain that to the wife. Sorry, we've got absolutely no supplies now. Seeing as I'm here and late for dinner, I might as well take the opportunity to do Peter McKinnon's B-roll challenge. And that is, take a boring location and uh, take some awesome B-roll footage using only one lens. Well, I'm gonna be using the Canon 70D and my 24 to 105 F4 lens. Um, let's see whether I can make Audi look cinematic or rubbish. Probably the latter. Let's give it a go, guys. made it back. I just remembered when I started filming that the Canon 70D can't film at 60 frames per second in 1080p. So all of that footage was filmed at 720. Um, actually, you couldn't even film at 60 frames. I think I had to film it at 50 frames. So uh, uh, that was a little bit frustrating. I've obviously got used to using the G7X Mark II now, which can film at 1080, 60 frames per second. Um, so that was a little bit of a challenge, it was fun doing it. I'm not sure whether it's gonna look very good, I haven't seen it yet, of course, but um, nonetheless, as with all of these challenges, you don't know until you try, so it did force me to uh, use that camera. Um, you know what, I think the Canon 70D is getting a little bit older now, so I probably do need to upgrade at some point, but probably best not to talk about that. I'll have to uh, look at equipment some other time. Anyway, um, I'll quickly show you what I was using. When I was looking for ND filters, the variable filters can cost quite a bit. However, I managed to pick up this k &F concept. I'm not proclaiming them to be really good quality, but what it did allow me to do is actually pick up an ND filter and start playing around with it, um, which is obviously better than having no ND filter whatsoever. For those unfamiliar, ND filters allow you to keep the frame rates low, um, whilst filming out in the broad daylight, otherwise you'd have to adjust the shutter speed right up and that's not suitable for filming. Um, it matters slightly less in photography, but certainly with film, when you want to keep those fast lenses, you need the ND filters and this is the k &F concept. So this set come with um, a UV filter, an ND filter and a CPL filter. So um, it wasn't too bad, they do various sets of varying prices with um, very portable little cases so um, I recommend getting one if you're starting out and just throw it in your bag and try it out when you get the chance. As I mentioned earlier in the video guys, um, my band Sons of Alpha Centuri have just released their second album. Now it's an album we've been working on for a long time, um, it's actually out officially on the 1st of June however the pre-orders have started to be shipped and I've got my copy here. Uh, see. Um, 
official copy, 12 inch vinyl. Um, there we go. Um, so the album's called Continuum. It's uh, instrumental, hard rock, progressive rock, and it's been mixed by a guy called Aaron Harris, who's worked on several uh, bands such as Isis and Palms. Um, so if that's your bag, definitely worth checking it out. I believe it's on all of the streaming platforms now as well, or it will be as of the first. So um, I'm not gonna plug it too much, but if you're interested to see what I've been up to outside of the videos, and maybe that'll help you understand why I'm only doing one video a week rather than daily as some vloggers are doing. I've obviously got other things going on in the background. Oh, and uh, let us know if you wanna see more about the band in these vlogs. Obviously I could potentially do some behind the scenes stuff, so just give us a shout in the comments if that's something you're interested in seeing. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. A little bit random, I know. Um, however, sometimes I just have to share with you what's going down. Um, so I'll catch you same time next time, which will be hopefully Thursday at 9 p.m. I've been trying to release at that fixed time. I can't always guarantee it, but at least that's what I'm trying to do. I um, hope you had a good bank holiday weekend, guys, and on that, boom, catch you later, guys. Peace.